Hey everybody, it's Eric from American Adventure, and today we're right outside of Breckenridge. We're gonna do American Gulch in Hamburg Hill Trail, and then that'll take us to Georgia Pass. So this should take about two hours. I think it's about like 15, 16 mile trail out and back. Uh, we're right by the trailhead. So the trailhead is right over here. Got the GX airing down a little bit. And yeah, follow along. When you get to the trail, it ends up being the second entrance and not the first. You can see kind of I pulled into the first one and then kept going towards the second. And then you take a left here, there's a little bit of a fence and there's a sign. And this is how the trail starts.
We're on the trail here and we came to this abandoned looking house shelter thing. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but if I find out I'll put it in the video and GX is doing real good. So we came from up there. We're gonna keep going this way. There's a little break in the road, but we're gonna go to the right and continue on. out about this cabin. This used to be the office of the Wapati Mining Company, which was one of several companies that heavily mined the Farcom Hill uh, between American Gulch and Georgia Gulch. This cabin was built in kind of the mid 1800s and they stopped using it in the like early to mid 1900s and it's just uh, there now and a uh, piece of history that good for looking at it, but don't really go into it or try to uh, mess it up. So the trail uh, is relatively easy. It's a, I think a 3 out of 10 is what it's rated and it could be done with a two-wheel drive vehicle. Um, obviously if it's raining or snowing or wet you're gonna need four-wheel drive but on a day like we went pretty pretty easy. And so um, this this trail is part of the Golden Horseshoe Trail System, and it covers over 8,000 acres between the Swan River and the French Gulch. So there's countless of mines, mills, and cabins all in this area from the mid-1800s, and then, again, stopped being used in the mid-1900s. saw earlier in the video there's tons of dispersed camping along the trail and we saw a handful of people set up for the night uh, so if you're on this trail and you get out here early you can definitely find a camping spot pretty easily
So we made it all the way up the trail to Georgia Pass. Alexis did great. Here's uh, here's the sign. So we came up this way. Um, now uh, I wanted to do Georgia Pass, which ends up going this way, but it is getting a little bit dark. So we're gonna head back on the uh, 355 this way and head back to Breckenridge before it gets dark uh, since it's almost like 7 p.m. here. So got about another 45, 50 minutes to go. But yeah, definitely gonna come back here. But look at these views. It is absolutely gorgeous. So if you like the trail video, give it a like. Uh, if you like the channel, subscribe to see more, and yeah, I'll film the rest of this, and we'll see more later.